you need a personalized investment plan designed for you to grow your savings at the same time you also need to protect your family's financial future even in your absence in order to meet the key milestones of life you need a proper investment plan and insurance plan covering both health and life max life insurance offers a dual benefit product named max life online savings plan will this be suitable for your insurance basket and investment basket in this video let us do a detailed analysis to find out the suitability of the plan welcome to holistic investment.in max life online savings plan is a unit linked non participating individual life insurance plan in this video we are going to do thorough and detailed analysis to find the advantages and disadvantages of max life online savings plan this will help you um, get through understanding of whether max life online savings plan is a good or bad option to meet the demand for both investment as well as long term financial protection first features of max life online savings plan the plan offers two variants uh, you have the choice uh, to choose the policy term and premium paying term uh, choose from 11 fund options as per risk appetite you can safeguard your investments from market volatility by choosing the dynamic fund allocation investment strategy there is no limit on the number of switches between funds done in a policy year there is no premium allocation charge and policy administration charge under the online say, say max life online savings plan and uh, that will be only mortality and fund management charges next we shall look at the benefits of max life online savings plan death benefit uh, under variant 1 on the death of the life insured any time during the policy term the nominee shall get the highest of the following benefit sum assured equal to the higher of uh, cover multiple times the annualized premium or 0.5 times the product of policy term and annualized premium or 105% of total premiums received up to the date of death or the total fund value as of the date of death for variant 2 uh, there are three benefit the first one is lump sum benefit this is similar to the death benefit under variant 1 next is family income benefit a family income benefit equal to 1% of sum assured will be paid each month starting from the policy anniversary date of every month following or coinciding with the date of death next is a funding of premium under this benefit the company will fund all future and uh, outstanding premiums as and when due under the policy finally the fund value shall be paid on the uh, as on the date of maturity and next a maturity benefit on maturity you will be eligible to receive the fund value where the fund value will be calculated as summation of number of units multiplied by the respective nav of the fund as of the date of maturity Next we shall have a glimpse of additional benefits under Max Life online savings plan fund switching premium redirection partial withdrawal settlement option premium reduction additional rider benefit next we shall look at the investment strategies and fund options of Max Life online savings plan you can choose your investment strategy you may choose to invest in the following 11 funds available in this plan you can also choose the dynamic fund allocation option as an alternate uh, the fund details in the decreasing order of potential risk in max life online savings plan is given in the table based on the asset allocation the risk profile varies and uh, the next is dynamic fund allocation only at the start of the policy uh, one may select the dynamic fund alloc uh, allocation option according to the matrix given assets under management will be maintained between the growth super fund and the secure fund in a predetermined ratio that varies depending on the number of years left to maturity next we shall uh, look at the various charges under max life online savings plan there is no premium allocation charge or policy administration charge uh, fund management charge you can refer the table here it ranges from 0.9% to 1.25% mortality charge on each month anniversary a mortality charge based on the summer risk will be levied by cancelling units from the unit account starting from the date of commencement of policy surrender or discontinuance charge uh, when the policy is discontinuance uh, discontinued this charge will be levied there is no surrender or discontinuance charge from the fifth uh, policy year uh, switch uh, switch charges all switches will be uh, free of charge uh, under this plan Uh, premium redirection charge there is no charge for premium redirection a maximum of 6 premium redirections are allowed in uh, any policy year 
partial withdrawal charge um, partial withdrawals are free of any charge a maximum of two partial withdrawals are, are allowed in a policy year uh, miscellaneous charges there are no miscellaneous charges uh, under this policy inference from these charges uh, some of the po charges are essential to run the plan like a mortality charge and fund management charges but some charges like premium allocation charge policy administration charge discontinuance and surrender charge are not levied under other market uh, linked investments uh, this will pull down your overall fund value next we shall analyze the advantages and disadvantages of max life online savings plan advantages you have a choice of 11 funds and two investment strategies Apart from lump sum death benefit, there is the funding of premium and monthly income benefit under variant 2. Unlimited fees which has 6 premium redirections and 2 partial withdrawals after the lock-in period are allowed in a policy year. A settlement option can be exercised during maturity. Next, disadvantages. No liquidity in the first 5 years of the policy. And there are no loyalty additions. After deducting all the charges, only the net premium will be invested. The loan option is not available. During the settlement period, the investor should bear the investment risk. The top of premium option is not available under the plan. As an investor, you need to fully understand the product and estimate the potential return before investing in any product. Uh, for this, we have analyzed the benefit illustration given in the sales brochure. A 35 year old male opts for MaxLife online savings plan for an annualized premium of rupees 50,000. He pays a premium uh, for 10 years and gets the fund value at the end of 20 years. He chooses balanced fund. The life cover is 10 times the annualized cover that is rupees 5 lakhs. The assumed rate of return are 4% and 8% per annum. These are not guaranteed and they are not the maximum or minimum returns. Uh, there are several factors like future investment performance affects your returns. Under the assumed rate of return 4%, the fund value at the end of 20 years is 7.38 lakhs and the IRR is 2.53%. Under the assumed rate of 8% return, the fund value at the end of 20 years is 13.21 lakhs and the IRR is 6.36%. MaxLife online savings plan is a market linked return but the IRR be calculated in the above scenarios is far lower than debt instrument return. A long term investment fetching lower returns will affect your financial goals uh, also the sum assured is too low. Uh, let us make an analogy between MaxLife online savings plan and other uh, similar investments. Uh, Max Life Online Savings Plan neither provides adequate life insurance protection for your family nor provides return on par with other market linked returns. So let us calculate what if we invest the same amount in other products. Will you get a better return? Let us assume all the metrics similar to the benefit illustration seen in Max Life Online Savings Plan. And the sum assured was 5 lakhs and the annualized premium is rupees 50,000. In order to get life cover, a pure term policy will give you high coverage at a lower premium. Pure term life insurance for 5 lakhs would cost an annual premium of rupees 4,500. The premium paying term is 10 years and the policy term is 20 years. After paying the annual premium, the balance amount of rupees 45,500 could be invested as per your choice. Here we have chosen uh, debt instrument and equity instrument both. Uh, for debt instrument PPF. Uh, it has a lock-in of 15 years and then it could be extended for a period of 5 years batch. Uh, in the earlier illustration, the premium paying term is 10 years. So in the year 11 to 15, a minimum contribution of 500 per year is made. Adjustments were made in the calculation. The final maturity is available at the end of 20 years. For equity in instrument, we have chosen ELSS. In the first 10 years, after paying the pure term insurance premium, the balance just goes into the ELSS fund. For the next 10 years, the fund grows as such without any investments. At the end of 20 years, the fund value is subject to tax. The tax calculation is given here. Uh, under pure term plus PPF investment, the final maturity value is 13.42 lakhs. The IRR internal rate of return is 6.47%. This may seem similar to the benefit illustration 8% scenario, but bear in mind that PPF is a debt instrument, whereas MaxLife Online Savings Plan is a market linked product. Um, under mutual fund ELSS, the pre tax maturity value is 27.77 lakhs. 
uh, after the deduction of capital gains tax the final maturity value is 25.55 lakhs and the irr is 10.79% which is a post tax return this rate far above the inflation rate Mm, any long term investment return beating inflation comfortably uh, can help in meeting your goals here is our final verdict on max life online savings plan uh, under this plan a portion of premium paid is allocated towards life cover and balance uh, towards savings or investment this investment component helps policy holder builds uh, build a corpus over time uh, which can be utilized to meet various financial goals This plan offers different investment uh, fund options such as equity, debt, and balanced fund. Policy holders can choose funds based on their uh, risk appetite and financial objectives. It is crucial to review the plan's terms and condition, investment option, charges, and benefits in detail before making a decision. This plan levies various charges. This pull uh, pulls down the return. also the plan does not uh, offer adequate life cover in case of eventualities the sum assured will not suffice the family's basic needs a pure term policy is the most appropriate life insurance plan where you get high coverage at a affordable premium it is advisable to buy a term plan for your insurance basket and a tailor made investment portfolio will be the best choice for your investment basket A detailed review of this plan is available as a blog post in our website and the link is given in the description. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions related to this or any other investment option or related to your financial goal, don't hesitate to book a free appointment with our financial planners. The link to the free booking is given in the description box below. Also, will you be interested to attend any insightful investment webinar then feel free to register for the upcoming enlightening investment webinar it is completely free the registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box if you like this video please give us thumbs up also share it with your social circle if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel so far please subscribe now